It's a lovely mix here of old and new faces from late night poker. I mean, Pascal Perot, Simon Trump, of course, former champion. And then new young players like Maria Dimitriou. And an interesting fact about Maria, she's the niece of a former winner of late night poker also. That's right, Peter yeah, Costa. Peter Costa. Yeah. <clears throat> here are two sevens for Marcel Dusk, the chip leader. I'm on. Where's Olin? Oh my and goodness! He pushes all in? Wow! Well, will you look at this? Robert Maria Dimitri's found the ace king. I think she must call. She has to call. This is a good spot for her to gamble. She absolutely must call. Marcel Lusk would have to be off his head to make this move with two aces or two kings. I, I'm, I'm actually shocked that he moved all in right there. Cool. Maria Dimitri's made the call. And what a massive situation she finds herself in. <coughs> Lusk, of course, can't get knocked out, but Dimitriou, good spot for her to gamble. Right in the window. Right in the window. Bang, the ace comes down, and Maria Dimitriou could be looking at a juicy double up through the chip leader. Look at that turn card, though. Wow, the perfect turn card for Lusk. It gives him a flush draw, an opening straight draw, and he can still catch a 7-2. Any three, eight, seven, or club? No! Nope, no help. Dimitriou doubles up through Marcel Lusk. And she had enough trips that that's definitely a blow to Marcel Lusk. Well, that really does put the cat among the pigeons. We've now got three players at the top of the chip ladder. Trumper, Dimitriou, and Lusk all jostling for contention. The semi-final is amazing, isn't it? It's like a who's who of poker. All the top names, um, obviously they've done everything, between them, I'm sure they've done everything in the poker world. Uh, Marcel, he's quite quite a tough cookie. They're all, they're all quite aggressive as well, aren't they? They're all, they all get their chips in there with rubbish. And at least they can, you know, great players like that. You can make moves on them, they can put hands down. So that's fine by me. They say that poker is a man's game, but of a tiny handful of women who've played late night poker, four have made the final. In series one, Beryl Cook got to the final, but fell twice to the Devilfish. In the second series, Debbie Berlin, renamed Debbie Fish for her electric poker performance, was visibly delighted to make the final. You in the final. In the fourth series, Lise Vergetzi gave Joe Beavers some trouble. Okay, Ace queen for Joe. Where is he? We have aces for Lise. Oh, nice. In series five, Vicky Lincoln made the final in fine style. Last card, six. Good decision. Week is the winner. Thank you, Ryan. All the best. What do you mean, look? Show me, show me something better than a pair of threes. And what will you show me? Go on. <laughs> show me a pair of fives or sixes or even a four. And in series Rebecca. six, Lucy Rokash bulldozed her way through an impressive field to make the final, where she finished third. Three tens, she's drawing dead, and Lucy Rokash, who played so very, very well, done in third. Welcome back to the semi-final of Party Poker, Late Night Poker. A couple of hands from now, Agnieszka Rilik is going to be virtually all in on the big blind. Then she'll surely have to play that last 200. You'd think that would be an easy call. Has she found something she wants to gamble with before the big blind comes? Oh, yes. Maybe it's just a call. No, she's all in. All in for 800. 800. Raised to 2,300. Which is unfortunate that Marcel Lusk finds a very nice hand behind it. But, you know, he's got live cards. Pass. Marcel is the best queen of clubs. The best card of... <laughs> she says, that's the best cards I've had. Let's see the flop. Up comes queen. Uh-oh. She's in big trouble in little China here. Yeah, looking really now for the back door running straight. That's her best opportunity. 
Please. No. Nope. One of them. She's dead on the turn. Agnieszka Rilek really has got no cards left to hit. And after a fantastically yes. brave performance here at Late Night Poker, she came without the experience, with just a little bit of training and a lot of glamour. She's out. I know upset because uh, I don't have uh, a nice hand. <laughs> I don't have lucky uh, and hand today. Marcel Lusk, dominant at the top of the leaderboard there. Mark Goodwin, not in very good shape. Yep. And Dimitriou with a, a nice size stack. Yeah. Time for another late night poker retro hand. I'm going to play this next one from the point of view of our former champion, Simon Trumper. Mark Goodwin, it's really all in or nothing for him. He's opting for nothing. Marcel, Marcel on the button. He passes also. So Dimitri, you know, she can raise it up here with quite a wide range of hands. Cool. Oh, she flat calls instead. She's played a variety of hands. Mm -hmm. Raise 1,500 more. Trumper is raising it up. Well, with, <laughs> with rubbish, well, but I guess... He wants to win this pot right here, right now. He doesn't want her to call <clears> nothing. <throat> I guess he figures she's limping in with not much and he'll just chase her out. She re-raises, of course, his history. You she's know what? Calling. Maybe she reasoned out that maybe he doesn't have much. But now he does. Yeah. He's got bottom pair. There are fours. I mean, but she's checked. I think he's got to make the continuation bet, doesn't he? Absolutely. He's got to make a bet there. No, he's checked it. I wonder what he's nervous of in, in uh, Dimitri. Perhaps he thinks Dimitri's got some enough pair of sevens or eights. Maybe, possibly a middle pair. But even then, she would she would pass she with that, have, wouldn't she, sir? Yeah, she would have raced pre-flop with that hand. So, that, nope, she couldn't have that. Well, he's checked it again on the turn. And a five on a river. It's gone check, 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 check. Now five on the river. Well, that's a blank, the five, really, because Absolutely uh, it just blank. pairs the board, doesn't bring anything. I, I mean, I'd expect them to check this one out, really. Three and a half. Ooh. 3,500 into a 42. Oh, she almost bet the whole pot. Wow. Well, this is a tough situation for Simon Aces Trumper. Bottom pair. No kicker, but let's think about the action. Let's figure this out. He raised trying to steal pre-flop, but she called pretty quickly. So she could have a big hand, could have, you know, something like a queen jack or jack 10. But why didn't she bet on the flop? And why didn't she bet out on the turn? Well, and also, why would she make a big bet now with something like a queen and, jack? And 3,500 in this pot? I mean, she could have ace five. That's the most realistic thing I can think of that she could have right here. Pass. Well, he's passed it. I mean, I would have called with his hand, but he's passed it. And uh, let's see what Dimitri had a total oh, bluff. Wow. I can't believe she didn't push all in or make a big bet on the turn with a straight and a flush draw. And the worst is you're going to Brave move on the river, though, from Dimitri. God's and it wow. worked. Oh, it worked. The <laughs> <laughs> there have not been a lot of big hands out there tonight. They've no. been having to play some creative poker with some weird cards. That's great poker. I love it when there's not many hands, except when it happens to me, of course. I mean, <laughs> don't like it then near as much, but that's great poker. You can see a lot of moving and... and People just shifting around and really, it makes them have to play poker. Raise to 2,000. And Dimitri That's wakes it. up with two nines. And look at this. Mark Goodwin putting his tournament life on the line. Oh, he's all in, and I think that's going to be an easy call for Dimitri because uh, Goodwin didn't have that many chips to start with. Yep. And Mark Goodwin, who has not had a real roller coaster in the evening, he stayed out of the way of danger, is now all in with just one over card. Desperate to see that ace come down, Mark Goodwin. Oh, oh, now he's going to need runner, runner, or he's out of the match. Mark needs two cards. Is the dream over? That's one. That's one. That's no help. That's no good. He's drawing dead. Even if he hits another ace, it will be a full house for Dimitri. And Mark Goodwin has had an unlucky night, has not found enough good hands, and he's out. And now Dimitri. Runs her chips right up into the top. She's our new chip leader. Just some days, things just don't go for your situations. I mean, it wasn't so much the cards because, you know, in those situations when it's quick, you don't really need cards. But I'm just such a terrible position with such a low stack on my left.
that every time I want to raise and steal, I'm just, you know, I know I'm going to get called at some stage.